on Fox Chicago tonight, a specialized digging operation in the search for Stacy Peterson. The focus, a remote area outside of Peoria, sparked by a new lead in the search for Drew Peterson's fourth wife. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nancy Pender. Tonight, we have team coverage, including reaction from Stacy Peterson's family. But we begin with Craig Wall, who's live in Peoria with the latest on this investigation. Craig. Nancy State Police thought this was such a significant lead that they brought in two dozen investigators scrambling after getting their lead to get down here. This is the second day of operations in the search for the remains of Stacy Peterson. They brought in an anthropologist to conduct a very meticulous dig, but what happened here today has done nothing to solve the mystery of what happened to Stacy Peterson. For two days, state police have searched in the thick trees, underbrush, and mud along Kickapoo Creek outside Peoria, looking for evidence of the remains of Stacy Peterson. The fourth wife of former Bolingbrook Police Sergeant Drew Peterson has been missing now for two and a half years. Investigators are acting on a lead that came to their attention Wednesday or Thursday, a source says. A cadaver dog hit on something on this farm yesterday, and today an anthropologist brought in by state police conducted a meticulous search and dig in an area about 10 feet by 10 feet wide. He left at the end of the day without finding anybody. The area where we're at, no one, there's a very limited group of people involved in that, a very limited number number of people allowed in that area. A witness tells me investigators were out in boats on the creek last night. This search today focused on the land. The man who owns the property had no idea it might be connected to such a high-profile case. I was just shocked, like anybody else would be, I guess, and no, I didn't see anything suspicious. I work about 100 hours a week, so I'm not out there a whole lot. The area being searched was cordoned off of the main road. It's behind a gun club, but state police say they don't know of any connection Drew Peterson might have had to the club, or Peoria for that matter. The lead, they say, was considered very reliable, but they would not say where it came from. State police were out canvassing people who lived nearby, but it's not clear if anyone had any useful information. Many local residents were reluctant to talk about the developments, but it was all the buzz around Peoria. Why here? Why, why, uh, why northwest of Peoria? I mean, it doesn't make any sense when there's so much terrain between Chicago or Bolingbrook, is it? Uh, uh, why would we choose here? State police say they don't want anyone, especially Stacy Peterson's family, to get their hopes up. We've been down different paths before, and there's been disappointments before. Um, I don't want to stand here and tell you this is the magical lead that's going to solve the case by any standards. What state police do tell us is that if this, this doesn't turn out to be the lead that solves the case, it might lead them somewhere else. Now, all this comes as Drew Peterson is getting ready to go on trial for the murder of his third wife, Kathleen Savio. That was expected to start June 14th, but has now been delayed into July. What a development, though, today, and it's not over. Nancy, back to you. Craig, we lost a little bit of your audio there, so forgive me if you've already talked about this, but is this it for the search? Will they be back perhaps uh, tomorrow uh, with different equipment, or do they see this as a futile effort right now? No, it is far from over, Nancy. In fact, while the anthropologist's work is done here, state police said today the digging is not over and the searching is not over, but at this point, they don't want to say when that search is going to continue. They talked about maybe not tomorrow, but their search effort in this very area is not done. Okay. Craig Wall, thank you so much for that report and reaction.